Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you your Virgo reading. So if your sun, moon or rising is in Virgo, welcome to my channel. If you are a Virgo lover, how are you? I know I'm a little early today, y'all. I definitely want y'all to be able to jump on and view this at a decent time and not three, four o'clock in the morning, right? Y'all, <laughs> I got finished my work early. So, yep, here I am. I'm going to set some music for us so I can get in my zone real quick. And as I'm talking to you guys, you remember how this goes, right? Remember to stay um, in a positive mindset. Also... Um, everyone is on a different timeline. So I may be speaking of past, present, or future energies for any one of you. Make sure you use the spirit of discernment, okay? Um, if it's not your emotion or something you would do, definitely um, flip the roles. If it's not your story, please do not force it to fit, okay? You take what you need from this, you leave what you don't. Now, I'm going to set my intentions because we got to be on the same page energetically here. And we need to be protected as we go through the spiritual gates. Okay, so let's see. What kind of music you two got for me? I'm going to go ahead and play this one because I can't this find nothing real quick. Oh, no, y'all. We ain't going to be listening to no um, talking guided meditation. We need sounds. <laughs> All right, so, so far, y'all, let me jump right into my intentions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this collective Virgo reading. I ask that you protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you and to close the gates to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you so much for using me as the messenger and speaking through me loud and clearly for Virgo tonight. And so it is. All right, y'all. So what I'm gonna do pretty much is I'm gonna jump in with my um, energy oracle deck. I need to get a new deck, y'all. These things are so bent out of shape. Let me give myself some arm room, too. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here. For my fellow birds, what is it that they need to know? What's the overall energy for my birds? I've been kind of like giving us a little break on the readings only because... You know, sometimes we have to move into a state of trust in Virgo, okay? We don't need to know everything. We just need to start learning how to trust the divine and trusting ourselves, our intuition when it comes to the things in our life, the people in our life, right? That's a part of our growth and our evolution. I am here as a messenger to help guide you. The storm warning card came out in the reverse. So y'all check out my daily seed because that storm warning card was in an upright position earlier. So whatever has been going on, the storm has blown over, okay? It looks like a cycle has been closed and someone now understands what's happening. Storm warning in the reverse, the thinking man in an upright position. Someone definitely understands what's happening now, has been doing um, the self-evaluation. And um, and I'm seeing here, it's like now that understanding is there. Now it's like, oh, it's calmer waters. Ooh, thank you. Show me what I need to see. Whatever would happen um, for you, Virgo, whether it was today, over the last... Um, week or so or yesterday however it goes whatever happened it may be something that has upset you um and it triggered you so that's what that storm could be it could be something that's internal um within yourself building up or between you and a masculine energy and look these same cards y'all are literally here from my daily tea and the deceit card is now in a reverse. This was the first card in the upright position. So it's reverse position now. So no one, someone is deciding, you know, to speak their truth. No longer wearing a mask um, or no longer hiding or, or being deceptive in their energy in any kind of way here and coming across and communicating. So this is why the storm is blowing over now is because the deceit is now gone or it's leaving. Okay, victory. That's where you will um, gain success. So if you haven't thought about this situation, if you're going through a storm and you're still like, shit, I'm all up in the middle of this, right? 
think about this, evaluate it, try to make some adjustments here um, and speak your honest to God truth. You know, some of you may be blocked in your throat chakra, but otherwise, you know, speak your truth. Come from your heart space when speaking it too as well, okay? Because that's going to lead you to uh, what I'm hearing is like a victorious outcome, you know? versus you being caught up in some type of emotional anxiety or drama, things like that. And of course, you guys, you know about my situa living situation. I'm in an apartment building. It sounds like the kids are dragging chairs across the floor. <laughs> so a lot of the thumping noises is that. Thank you. Show me what I need to see here. What is this message concerning for my Virgos? Give us the story, the outline, the, the how to overcome it, advice, <laughs> what's next? masculine energy so king of wands and upright all right so remember um we we both male female operate in masculine feminine energies so at any time like if you fem if you're a female this could be you coming in as a king of wands right but you know flip the roles as you see fit but what i'm seeing here is someone decided you know i gotta be fearless here and go ahead and move this situation forward or get something done here um instead of you know, being arrogant or feeling unstable within this particular situation. Why? Because the two of cups was in the reverse position. There was some type of imbalance here between you and someone that you have um, some type of partnership with, a friendship or someone you got a very close connection with. Okay. Um, whether this, again, you know, you know who is playing this role. It could be family member, friend, lover, um, someone you work with, you know, but however, there was an imbalance here and with this masculine energy coming in it's just like all right let me get let me take charge you know let me go ahead and see what i can do to move this forward um and not be you know impatient or not be uh stubborn or whatever that may be right and and literally that's what's happening here hmm. show me what i need to see here. Yep. Basically, what I'm saying is, all right, you or this person definitely came out with their magician energy. It was just straight like, y'all, let me go ahead and have the willpower or let me create an opportunity here to be able to manifest this desired outcome, right? So that I can bring in the communication to get this storm to leave, right? Because whatever happened, it was sudden I'm seeing. It's like that storm came through and it was like, oh shit, like, and it triggered you, okay? So you definitely got that um, energy to actually come out and communicate here with the eight of wands in the upright position. Okay, so just as sudden as that storm came in, I feel like you may not have been in um, this little vibrational space for a minute or your person hasn't. I feel like it's one of those things where it was just like, what, that took me back, I don't understand what's happening or, you know, I know I feel triggered or whatever and you probably were kind of pretty much trying to hide it. But for the most part, it's like, all right, I got to I got to bring some other type of change in here um, and I got to start to communicate what it is that I'm feeling here so that I can see some type of progress here. Um, so let's see. I feel like this may be something here as well that is quick, like a quick um, decision or, you know, like it's you may have been sitting there like, oh, dwelling on it or feeling a little upset about it. And then it was just like, you know what? Let me contact this person. <laughs> Let me go ahead and send this text message. Let me go ahead and, you know, communicate here um, so I can shift the energy real quick within your own self, right? Because at first you weren't doing anything with the Knight of Pentacles in a reverse. You just was like, nah, I'm going to just go ahead and neglect this situation or this person. But really, in reality, what was happening here with the Three of Swords is like you went into that energy is because you were heartbroken. So something here, um, it could have been some type of conflict, but whatever it is, it it, it caused a little bit of grief, Maybe a lot of grief for some of you. This is why you just was like, you know what? I'm going to withdraw my energy for a second, right? You know, Virgos, that's how we do, you know? If that wasn't you that did, of course, that's how this person was thinking. It's like, let me take a step back really quick and just try to focus on some other things and not really focus on this particular situation. Seven of Cups in the upright position. Yeah, it's like, let me choose between something else. 
and in, in reality, you know, you may have been choosing the wrong option. You know, you may have been sitting there like really upset or or even if you weren't upset, it was just more one of those things that was on, on your mind. But it was still like, nah, I'm not I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to be the one to break the communication. Seven of Cups in the upright position. Let me see, show me what I need to see. Mm-hmm. Yep. So a lot of the stuff you were really kind of keeping to yourself. Um, maybe even acting cold in your energy or this person may have been just acting really cold towards you um, when it comes to this. It's, it feels like, Virgo, that it could be like some type of feeling of emptiness and sadness that, that is there. It's like you got these feelings um, for this person or this or this situation, whatever those feelings may be. And it's like you're anticipating something or you are in expectation of something here. So a lot of the stuff that, the ideas that you may have, okay, um, you keep to yourself for the most part, right? But something is like you, you keep the ideas to yourself, but at the same time, you're also not even really taking action on those ideas that you have. It's just one of those things where you're kind of just sitting um, expecting. And what I keep saying is the expectation card. It's like, I'm going to just sit and, and kind of wait. I'm, I'm expecting change. I'm expecting um, communication to come in from this person. Or I'm expecting that this situation will move forward to be something. And But it's, it's nothing. So it's just like, yeah, page of um, cups in a reverse position. Then the chariot card is in a reverse position as well. And you know, Virgos, we don't like to feel vulnerable. I can definitely tell you that. So if you definitely was feeling like, eh, I don't like that vulnerable feeling. So <laughs> that's why a lot of times we tend to just like, you know, keep certain things to ourselves, especially if it's intimate details, right? We'll just be like, mm, I ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> I got the ideas. I know, you know, I know I'm feeling this person or this situation here, but yeah, they ain't going out. <laughs> I don't know why we do that. It's a protective mechanism though. So I get it. We've been through a whole lot of challenges. Whole lot. Thank you. Y'all, I'm a Virgo too, so I definitely be feeling what's up. And for the most part, with the Ten of Pentacles here in the reverse position. Okay, so it could have been some type of dispute. You know, it could be somebody you that's in your family. It could be a family dispute. It could be, you know, some type of conflict between lovers. Whatever this is, it's just like it's some type of dispute that has taken place um, within a connection that you definitely have something rooted is what I'm hearing. Okay. Maybe like, you know, how it's like you make some type of investment into the connection. Um, someone you have a very close bond with. Someone you definitely have a... Uh, spent some time with let's just say they've been in your life for a minute okay now with the queen of cups in the upright position i'm definitely seeing here it's just like it's this feeling that i get virgo that maybe it's possible it's like one of those things where you know how you always supporting somebody you always like you're an anchor for that person you're always compassionate you're you're always like really just supportive of the person and just for a second, if this ain't your energy, if somebody energy coming in strong, it's like you got insecure about something is what I'm seeing here. So something definitely made you feel off balance. Okay, so let me see what that's about. Tell me about this one. But you switched that energy real quick, honey. Yeah, whatever happened, five of pentacles in the reverse. It's like you went there for a second and then that joint was just like... You may have felt, you know how it's one of those things like you give yourself some time to grieve about something like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and be in my feelings about this for about the next five hours, right? Overnight, whatever. But then tomorrow I'm going to get up, nah, scratch that, I'm over it. And that's what I'm saying. It's like you you tapped into your intuition when it came to this situation here or your person did, right? And um, that's why the positive changes are coming in. This is why this victory card is showing up here. Okay, so whatever the hardship or the, the loss is that you experience within the situation, now nah, it's going to be, it's positive changes that are coming in if they haven't already happened yet. And of course, with that first very first card coming out as the storm warning and the reverse here, some of y'all already starting to experience the sun shining. Let me tell you, by 
while I was recording that first, um, my daily tea, y'all, it just started storming out of nowhere. Straight thunderstorm doing the recording, y'all. The lights go out. So about 10, 15 minutes of the video, I'm in the dark, okay? I was like, I'm not stopping this video. I'm gonna keep going. Y'all can't see my face because <laughs> all the electricity went off. So yeah, definitely check that out if you haven't um, seen it yet. But let me tell you, you were having a difficult time or this person could not communicate honestly about this feeling. And the feeling is that that feeling of abandonment or some type of loneliness. So like you may have even felt like within this situation that, you know, you got this feeling of like, oh man, I'm going I'm to be left ass out. You know what I'm saying? Or something that triggered you, made you feel insecure. It's like you got all of these expectations because you know how we do. We, we got high standards for real, but it's still a part of you that feels like mm, my needs may not get met. Thank you. And you know how that is. So you end up being like, you know what? Retreat. <laughs> Let me go back into hermit mode real quick. <laughs> Thank you. Show me what I need to see here. Adjudication. Hold on, y'all. Mm. Try to pick it up with my toes. <laughs> Unexpected income came out next to the adjudication card. I feel like I need to pull one more card. Hold on. Hold on. Gift. Tool and labor. I pretty much got this off the back. I can see already what's happening here. One second, y'all. So here go the adjudication card, right? And um, with this card, it's coming from my Kipper deck, y'all. But usually, like, this card usually talks about some type of decision that has to be made, right? And it's like you go before um, a high court. It's almost like a proceeding, right? So whatever the decision here um, that has been made, and I see, and when I look at this, because even with the number 30 on this card, that three represents something dealing with spirit, okay? And... Um, I'm scrolling here um, real quick so I can see the actual meaning of it, but everything I'm connecting to it with intuitively is literally like a proceeding. And it seems like it's like a spiritual proceeding. And, and because of this, what um, the ruling is, it's in your favor. So something unexpected is coming of value. And that's what the next card is. Okay. Unexpected income. Now, so this is about um, where an, an official or someone must make a decision, right? And um, something is, is definitely going to go in your favor here. So let's see. Yeah, so this card right here is just literally, it seems like an official person has the adjudication or the ruling or whatever over your situation and you're waiting for them to give you the yes or no, right? And with it, with this card, it's not necessarily a clear yes or no. It's one of those things where it's like a maybe, right? But what I'm seeing here is that the ruling is yes. So whatever has taken place to me in the spiritual realm, and if even if some of you guys are going through some type of legal matters, even if that represents that and some official has to make some type of decision for you here, maybe a judge, a lawyer, you know, a court personnel or somebody like that. Or even if you're going to just shit the DMV, right? And you got an examiner that got to take care of something here. But really what's, what it's saying is like, even with that, um, it's like you got somebody else's fate that's in your hands. It's not completely in your hands. And, and with this situation, this is how you feel. It's like, you know, it feels like, I don't have no control over what's going on and the fate of this situation lies in this person's hands or the fate of it lies in the divine hand because you know how everything normally goes is by divine time and you be praying for stuff and you be sitting there like doo -doo 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 -doo, waiting but that's what it feels like but what i'm seeing again with the unexpected income card y'all see that it's like bam it's gonna come out it's gonna come your way unexpectedly 
it's like you're doing all this toiling and laboring okay when it comes to this situation but guess what there's a gift that's waiting for you and that's what's coming unexpected Okay, so it could be anything, y'all. This could literally be money. This could be um, an offer. It could be like a Christmas bonus or love. Whatever it may be, it's something here that's going to come. Um, and this card really is a clear yes. So where you got the adjudication card that was like maybe the unexpected income card says yes. Here. This is a pleasant occurrence, right? Why? Because you did this. You put in a work. Like whatever has happened here within your life period, within this situation that may be going on. Some of you may be having some issues financially right now. Some of you maybe bank accounts might have even bounced. Woke up this morning with a bounced bank account. It's just it's like one of those days where you just like, fuck. I don't got no control over what's happening in my life right now, right? And when I see this card, it's like because you've been, you know, working hard to overcome a lot of things, a lot of situations, um, uh, overcoming those ups and downs. You've been toiling and laboring over this. And now guess what? The gift comes in. The universe is like, here, here's double for your trouble. Here's, here's something unexpected for you. Okay, so I want to see what that unexpected um, income or or this gift card comes in at. I'm going to pull um, from my tarot when it comes to this to get a better breakdown here. Right, but uh, be expecting something. Be expecting something. That's all I'm telling you. This is simply a reason for joy here. Literally. Whatever it may be, it could be praise, recognition, it could be um, a job announcement or, or, or I mean a job increase, raise or whatever. It could even literally just be, you know, somebody saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a positive card. So that's a great thing, right? That's what you get out of it. That's where I, what I see the victory card that comes here. Tell me about what's unexpected. Let me see here. Mm hmm the truth with the seven of swords next to the death card the truth is one of those things where a confession was even made or the truth is being revealed you know basically and what i'm hearing is a confession like you may have decided to speak your truth or express your truth um or this person may have decided to fully express their truth right and um, that is what is bringing in this transformation, this unexpected shift. I'm definitely saying expect the unexpected all day long, right? Because what's coming to you is going to be what? Some kind of gift. Yeah, thank you. Show me what I need to see here for Virgo. It's time to take action. Anything else? Nothing is yet set in stone. It's something here that you definitely feel like it's nothing like it's it. It's like it's just rough waters. It's, it's like things won't, you know, it may be a complete ending. You won't receive what you need. But what I'm saying here is like these endings, they bring new beginnings. This is about your growth. This is about change. This is about you going through this transition. This is what Virgos we've been going through, right? Even with the boat card, this is the coffin card. Pretty much even with the boat card, you're going to receive what you need. Okay, so spirit is like the universe is going to offer you a gift. Wow. So what I want to do, right, my phone had just shut down. I, I, Y'all y'all already know. I'm going to go pick up my um, son's laptop. He does have a Mac. Um, and I'm going to be using his to record. In the meantime, because I can do all of the same capabilities on his Mac as I do from my iPhone. So I just need to go out there and get it. But I think I'm going to try to go out there tomorrow. Hold on one second. I'm looking for my book. I may have to look it up online if I don't find it. Let me see something. 
Oh, here you go. It's because it's dark in here. I need to turn the light on. All right, so with the new moon in Aries, it says, that's Aquarius. Come on. The flame is lit. A, a wonderful new start beckons, and you're on the right track. Drawing this card is a su superbly positive sign. If there's something you want to happen in your life, take this card as a big yes. And that's what these cards have been saying. Damn. Yeah. I really don't know what's going on, y'all. I can't I can't get the video finished. It keeps shutting down. So I'm going to try again, and hopefully <laughs> I'll be successful right now. But um, uh, the card is a big yes. So I don't know how much I caught. I just jumped right in. But the thing is, is just continue to do your best, right? Be very determined, okay? Because bravery is definitely called for at this time. And just take action on whatever it is that you're trying to do here. Just, you know, don't go too fast. Um, don't forget to use your manners, but just simply, you know, keep moving forward here um, because you're going to see some positive out, uh, a positive outcome for the most part. And with the mutable uh, moon, nothing is yet in stone, set in stone. So let me see what that's about here. I feel like I'm rushed now. Whew. One on eight. So Virgo, I'm gonna try to make this quick because my camera keeps shutting down all of a sudden. I'm on my iPhone, so I just cut it off completely. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to jump in. So I think I left off at nothing is yet set in stone. So I'm totally off, but it's like the reading was too goddamn good for me to just scratch it and start all over. But um, nothing is yet set in stone. Basically, is saying here that um, a situation you asked about is far from finalized. So whatever's happening to you today, just know that um, you can change it up. You literally can influence the energy of this situation. Okay, so I'm, I'm hearing here that... Um, don't struggle with the uncertainty of it. Definitely don't do it, but stay with it just a little bit longer is what my spirit team is definitely is saying. And when I read from the book here, it says, if you're not happy with the current state of play, that's marvelous. It means you can still change the course of outcome. However, there's also a sense that the situation could be a little bit unstable. But for some, this is definitely great news. Why? Because you can influence it. Okay, now stay adaptable is the key to success for now. And when I see that victory card, that's what it speaks of all day long. Stay with it. Whatever that means to you <laughs> is what the card is saying. All right, because nothing is just that set in stone. It may be some turbulence or it may was some turbulence, but the worst is behind you is what I'm hearing. And you are moving into smoother waters. Even as you look at this card, it's like the, the waves are... um starting to settle okay so i'm like shit do i pull another card okay <laughs> hold on all right so yeah i do want to i did want to pull from my angels and ancestors that before i had closed out so show me what i need to see for virgo mm -hmm. the medicine mother in autumn okay so here you go and then so you can see autumn and this card basically says honor your inner knowing and autumn release the old and rest right and we're going into autumn right so yeah it's a lot of stuff that's going to be happening in the fall um that has been coming out a lot lately in uh, my other readings so definitely if you have missed any other reading i have posted go to my page y'all watch it like it even if you ain't even watch it just hit the like button for the hell of it all right but medicine mother says take action do what you know you need to do and that card came out it's time to take action so that's like double triple confirmation for y'all but um there is an old pattern rising up in you now and it's time to deal with it and release it for good so you're being encouraged to love and respect yourself enough to take the steps you know you need to to take to move closer to where you like to be you already know the answers you know what you need to do you may have been using delaying tactics or holding back but now you are being guided to take action action requires carriage but your your angels and guides are bringing you to the carriage to bringing you the carriage to move forward so take one step when you do the next one will be presented to you and when I see that, it's about you releasing the old and, and beginning to take this time to rest, to get still within your own self. Okay, when I see this, I feel like it's a lot that's still going on deep within, um, especially when it deals with some type of abandonment issues or something here that makes you withdraw your energy and go into hermit mode. It's like one of those things when the storm comes or something happens, Virgo, you may get triggered. 
okay and you gotta face it it's something here that you still need to face and i and i and i feel it deeply within the pit of my damn stomach it's heavy i know trust me <laughs> it's heavy when we gotta face those things and especially once you thought you already faced it and it's like damn i thought i faced it and then something happened and it boom, triggered again like what the <laughs> thought we already been through this one already before but mm -mm. you gotta go deeper Okay, now release all of the pressure and expectation that's weighing you down. Shed it all so that you can recover before moving into a time of renewal. You know what <laughs> is heavy? Wow. <laughs> what is holding you back? Is it a person, a situation, a dream? Like the trees letting go of their leaves and fruit in the autumn? Is it time to let go? When you hold on, you try to control reality and that never works. When you let go, you make space for new to enter your life. You are being guided by your angels in nature in nature herself to release whatever is stopping you from moving forward. And you can do this, whether it's even a negative emotion or a feeling, right? decide to make a decision to take some type of action here okay now when the autumn card arrives in the future position of a spread or as the last card in a reading which it was it can also indicate that the coming autumn will usher in important energies with regards to your questions or intentions so what i want to do here is i'm gonna pull um some tarot of course to see what it's talking about for the autumn right because remember i told y'all the reading i think i did a couple of days ago it spoke of something happening in the fall for you guys show me what i need to see here with the autumn card show me what i need to see with this autumn card what's happening here okay so some of you four cups energy in an upright position it's like this invitation is coming into you or some type of opportunity that's coming towards you, right? But you may say no, right? Or you may be turning it away, whether this is you or someone else. Um, the judgment card is in a reverse position too as well, okay? So look, this is your period of reflection. Remember what I said when I read the autumn um, meaning in the book. Um, but take this as it's time to reflect here go within when it comes to this situation here because when you look at this four cups it's like the universe is handing you a cup <laughs> with, with what, whatever you desire in that damn cup and here go you head down <laughs> not paying it any attention missing the hidden blessing thank you show me what i need to see And right now, these new phases we are entering in is requiring us to make a whole lot of life changing decisions, y'all. So what I'm seeing here with the Eight of Pentacles is like, yeah, you need to apply your focus or um, or or work on, okay, this situation or something here, whatever is happening here. Take the time to work on it, um, even if that is doing the internal work, right? Don't get stagnant. Don't neglect it. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Taking focus on all of the wonderful things that are happening in your life here so that you can continue to move forward. Even if it's slow and gracefully, you know, some action is better than no action. Okay. Now with the five of cups here in a reverse position, literally you may feel like you're set back or you're just disappointed. And that's what the energy really feels like. It's like that this energy of worrying and disappointed and feeling like, oh, whatever happened to me has set me back personally and... Now I just don't want to accept no no new invitations, right? Especially when it's involving that, especially if it's love. You know, it's like once something happens to you in a relationship, sometimes we be like, oh no, I don't want no new friends. <laughs> I'm going to continue to be in hermit mode <laughs> and do me, right? But you got to get clear, all right? With the moon card here in an upright position next to the empress. Do you see that? You the empress. You have a very strong connection with your own femininity. And on top of that, you signify abundance. Why are you anxious? <laughs> wow. Look at that. Because you're the empress, that's what's being gifted to you. Ace of Cups, the star card. You got to stay optimistic. 
continue to trust all right we you have endured so many challenges and i know it's how it has held you back tremendously but you're connected to source here and what the universe is trying to offer you is this cup with everything in it that you desire whether it's someone being faithful or faithfulness or joy or love or happiness abundance wealth there's no negative changes coming to you in that cup you won't be unfruitful the situation will not be unfruitful is what i'm hearing okay in whatever way that may be it's going to progress and you're going to receive everything that you need it's like even though you don't really feel it's like one of these things where you may not really feel you you're not happy let's just put it that way you know sometimes you kind of like play along to get along type feeling that's what it feels like thank you show me what i need to see mm -hmm. higher font and the queen of wands but you got so much to be happy for come on the queen of wands is the bomb baby i'm talking about gorgeous very confident person very passionate very positive and uplifting you know you got that you got that. The Hierophant card. You're following a certain process here. Continue to commit to your your spiritual journey. Continue to commit to your set of spiritual values, your beliefs, whatever that may be. You're learning a lot of fundamental principles on this journey right now. You're, you're becoming a teacher. You are a teacher. You are a mentor. You are a guide. You are a messenger just as I am. You are your own teacher. And on this journey, on this path that you're on, this is what you're learning. A a whole bunch of valuable lessons this is a spiritual experience for you growing you and elevating you so you definitely have what it takes to manifest what it is that you desire okay queen of wands energy even if you a man viewing this video you still come in as being very self-assured and confident come on now that's what i'm saying we got empress energy queen of wands energy like all of that you that's more than anything where you should stay connected, knowing that anything is possible within this situation. And even though right now it's just like in whatever area of your life that that is right now, and usually it's love, okay? You may feel like, oh, this is not as artificial happiness. It ain't real, you know? You will get that because you can manifest that, right? As long as you're staying in alignment with your emperor self or, um, you know, alignment with yourself, period, this is what you're creating. You're literally creating this. This firm foundation. Give us a message to leave with spirit. Thank you. Closes out. Thank you. This is an opportunity to forgive. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. This situation is literally bringing you the opportunity to heal, to grow, and to release these negative patterns that you have been holding on to. Hold the intentions of seeing this other person's inner divine light and goodness. Your angels will help you to release any unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion just y'all y'all got to check out my daily tea okay this is literally the same freaking message but the other one say release and surrender daydream okay so you will more easily hear and receive the messages that are coming from the divine if you just kind of like get still daydream regularly relax open your mind right to receiving without directing your own thoughts it's one of those things that the spirit is just saying you know what just just go off in a daze okay and just notice any feeling any vision any ideas as if you were watching a movie this is the seat of creativity for you right now cleanse and detox okay so it, it needs to be some type of cleansing here all right with great love and respect we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body as at your request we will help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrows of shedding your old ways give your cares your worries and concern to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body so you gotta definitely reach out to your angelic team your your ancestors 
and ask the help with this cleansing process because it's a lot y'all okay and we are highly sensitive beings especially very intuitive beings and and spiritually gifted beings and we're taking on so many different energies on top of our own and we don't always process stress well i know that's something i've been working on and i can definitely tell you that i do do it i do have some old ways that come up within me but as i start to notice them i i literally i face it it may take me a couple of hours to do it but i push myself out of that energy and i try to face it and I begin to listen to what I'm, I'm supposed to do next. But I don't handle stress sometimes as well. And I've been going through a lot of stress the last couple of days. It's been heavy. It's a lot going on between me back to work, between my son. You know, life is happening for all of us. And the way I've been processing it, I haven't been able to because I've been so busy and jam-packed. I haven't been able to get outside to even walk in nature. Y'all know I do that every single day. I've been literally trying to stop in between uploading videos to um, work out in my room with some YouTube dance fitness, Afri fitness or something like that, or Kukwa fitness. I love African fitness dance. That does help me, but I thrive better when I'm outdoors. And um, I'm just trying to find, you know, this way to bring this balance. But I just finished the course, y'all. Um, so I am, I got my quality matter certification to start um, designing my own online class with the department I work for um, at the university here in Baltimore. And I pretty much, I'm, I'm excited about that because then I get to move into a new chapter of expertise as well as hopefully bring some increase to my income just a little bit here but um that that section is done so i start back to work monday we're back on campus and my days are full um for the most part um but at the same time i still have that flexibility but i, I feel like i won't be so overwhelmed i think i'm gonna be retiring here so with so many ways y'all just really just sit down and i say all this just so that you can begin to strategize um and make a plan for yourself so that you can always incorporate you into that plan and and figure out ways here that you can deal with your stress and even if you don't have an idea how to do it just yet just give your cares your worries and your concerns over to your angelic team over to the divine okay and just release it and and uh just do your best to keep moving forward okay we're all like what i tell you we in it to win it together we are here together to try to navigate through this journey here i know sometimes i can't always respond to every single thing again because like i said it's like life is definitely happening here as well as um it's a lot of y'all <laughs> and i'm one person so i'm trying to figure out here how to balance y'all but I, I i am here i i'll be sending the love and spirit and all types of stuff to you guys but um definitely um mm, 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 mm. let's just take a moment to end this out with some deep breaths okay so ready let's do it breathe in and breathe out let's do it one more time breathe in and out In those moments, even if you just sit in for two minutes, take those two minutes and just breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Just to shake off the day, you know, just to get yourself back grounded. All right, y'all. Um, I'm definitely sending you guys love and light. Thank you for continuing on this journey with me. Um, and I definitely love you guys. I thank you for the support. If you want to... Um, get a reading i have the link in the detail box below i do have membership packages that are available now i think because i got some time this afternoon i'm going to be dropping some personalized videos for you guys so if you are part of the soul tribe um squad i'm gonna drop your video tonight and if you're a part of my divine feminine squad y'all got one coming too so make sure you definitely check my um what's that board called uh, the the community board yeah check the community board because that's how it pops up it's still in beta so it doesn't alert the members that you know something's posted i think you gotta kind of be scrolling or go right to my community board to see it all right y'all all right so thank you once again peace